Um, okay, good morning everyone. I'm John Fox. Uh, I work with a team of guys at SIPS Energy. We are the guys that deliver hosted voice. So what is that? Well, hopefully we'll try and explain it in simple terms. Um, Paul and I are a bit like the sort of dog and, dog and pony show. We tend to arrive at vendors and resellers and uh, follow each other. So. It's good that you went first this morning. So, anyway, um, a couple of things. Oh, actually, I'll just flick back. Uh, Cisco, anyone here use Cisco equipment in their network, in their business? Yes, yeah, good, a few techs. So, this is a logo that you will not see. Um, it's a logo we're very proud of. We are a Cisco development partner. So what does that mean to the real world? It means I spend quite a lot of time in Shannon and quite a lot of time in San Francisco where all the clever guys who invent this stuff sit and they share their secrets with us. So we're now seeing stuff that won't hit the streets for probably two years. Um, but that enables us as the development partner to be ready behind and bringing new things forward very quickly. Um, and you know, they don't give these out very often. They only give it out when you've gone through a level of uh, accreditation to, uh, to become part of the gang, if you like. So what do we do with all that knowledge and all that stuff? Well, like Paul, we actually have spent quite a lot of money on building an infrastructure in the back, and I'll describe that in a bit more detail as we go forward. But what does that really mean to you? I don't suppose you really get bothered in some respects, but actually what it does is it allows you to use one of two platforms. If I want to describe those platforms, one's more expensive than the other, surprisingly but actually one is really feature rich and packed with lots and lots of unified communication solutions that people like the biggest bank in the world um, are using on a daily basis. So what does that really mean? It means that actually as a small medium market enterprise or a larger business, you're able to enjoy those features that are used uh, in the big banks, in the big corporations but at a fraction of the cost. Because like Paul and UCI, we've invested in our infrastructure to be able to deliver that out to you. So in terms of the product on the left, we take an enterprise grade PABX system called Call Manager. Some of you may be familiar with that. We host it in our data centers and we enable multiple tenants to use that system. And that's the unique part of what we do. So it means that we're a bit like a cooperative. Rather than everyone out there buying their own little bit and putting it on their premise, we bought the huge infrastructure in the core and we allow you to use it in a multiple environment. And we only recommend Cisco products. So there are other handsets out there that do similar things, but ours are from the Cisco family. Reason for that? Because we're Cisco in the core, we're Cisco in the edge, we're Cisco on the desktop. It means we can manage every part of that experience for you and ultimately deliver a better environment and a better uh, overall experience. How do we do that? Well, we do it because, like Paul, uh, we've invested rather a lot of money in four data centres. So we have uh, London 1 and 2, which are uh, what we call carrier neutral data centres. So. For those that may know these, these are uh, Global Switch 1 and Telehouse North, and those data centres are where all of the major carriers in the world interconnect. So we sit right on the edge of the main carrier environment. Likewise in Dublin, we have a dedicated data centre in Dublin that interconnects with both Aircom and BT Ireland for backhaul and connectivity out <coughs> to our subscribers. And then just to make sure, we also have a central uh, UK um, data centre as well. Now, any one of those four, we can lose. Will you know about it? No, because it automatically switches to the <coughs> second position. We can lose two of them. We can even lose three of them. If we've lost three, then there's a serious problem, and it's more of a you know, world-changing problem, let's say, than you know, just a localised problem to us. Within the environment, everything we run on is uh, fully, uh, if you like, accredited to Cisco. So they've looked at our designs, they've approved our designs, they've said they're the best of breed designs. So as a result, you can be assured 
And one of the key problems, or one of the key concerns that we've faced over the years from clients is, um, you know, what if it goes wrong? What if it fails? What's my backup? What's my get out clause? You know, I'm really comfortable that I've got my PABX sitting on site, you know, and I feel comfortable because I can look at it and I can touch it and I can see the red and green flashing lights. Actually, you know, you've got, you've got probably wider challenges because if that fails, what's your alternative? You know, you have alternatives here. Uh, clearly, connectivity to your site is a risk or a single point of failure. But again, because of what we do in the cloud, we can instantly reroute your traffic to other divisions, other sites, even to mobiles, to home operators, to soft clients on PCs. So you can decamp at the drop of a hat. So that actually, we're offering a very highly resilient uh, disaster recovery uh, option as well as a standard part of the service. So what does it mean? So clearly, reduced costs is a big factor. Why is that? Because we've bought it, you know, <laughs> we've invested, we've put it in the core, it's for you to, uh, uh, to just use as a service. That, so in terms of capital, the big C word, capital, is always a challenge for businesses. Do I go and spend £100,000 on a new PBX or do I spend £100,000 on a machine that makes my core product or provides four extra staff that means I'm uh, selling more as a business? Those are the key drivers that most FDs will be looking at. So we have a very simple uh, operation expense, so OPEX model. So you buy for what you use. And more importantly, if you do come to the world of cloud and you do come to the world of SIPS Energy, you could then look at reducing your own cost of your current ISDN or PSTN connectivity costs. They can go, you don't need those anymore because we can take care of that in the, in the core. So the message, I guess, is you reduce your monthly business outgoings because of the way we connect and the way Digicom resell our service, you will probably find some cost savings on your uh, monthly call charges in addition. So what do you get? I'll actually show you it working. Alright, okay. So. Right, okay. So I'm sharing my desktop. Okay, it's on an Apple Mac, might be on a uh, you know, Windows environment, you know, this, <coughs> they're identical. So what do you see here? Well, you see, the first thing, you see this pane here called Cisco Jabber. And Jabber is the soft tool that integrates my, my experience. So it says here, Kathy is available. Kathy, actually, if I just hover on her, I'm not sure if her details are in there. Uh, no, they're not. But Kathy is actually from Cisco. She lives in the Netherlands, so you know I can see straight away that she's available for me to send her a message. You could, uh, Kieran Duffy, the next further down, it says he's in a customer demo. Please do not disturb, and he's a product specialist from Cisco in Ireland. And likewise, we can go right through. There's Niall. He's away. He's in a meeting. Ross is away. Stephen Carroll's available, but he never answers. And uh, this guy, Alan Rosser, he's a CEO of a, a major integration partner of ours worldwide. So I could just send him a quick note, but rather than all that, I'm going to give Barney a, a quick uh, instant message. So here he is. So I say, hi Barney. Uh, demo time. And Barney's actually on our help desk. So we'll see what Barney says. Uh, if he's at his desk, he'll hopefully reply back. Uh, but in the meantime, I can do other things. I'm not disturbing what I do. I'm not walking down the corridor. I'm waiting for him to uh, send a note. Can you ping me? I think he does something like ping pong or something. But anyway, let's see what he comes back with. So, so there you go. So it says there, there you go. <laughs> I thought he might pong. So straight away, you saw instant messaging for grown-ups, but then more importantly, I've got all that in a log. So I've got all my activity logged and kept if I want to. So if I really want to be uh, you know, impressive, I can, I can uh, then just escalate that and I'll call him. So this is on his desk phone, and he's really going to hate this. So, um, hi, hi. Hi, how are you? Say hello to Ireland. You're live on TV, <laughs> do not swear, oh. Davina Warren. So, there's Barney, he's on our help desk. 
I can't believe I'm doing this to him. Um, now, interestingly enough, we're actually doing this demo over a 4G dongle. So, you know, we're not actually doing anything that clever. You are really handsome, so I'll say goodbye. Bye bye. <laughs> so there you go, so he's gone. That's how simple it should be. Why has it got to be complicated? And the reality is, many, many other people in this space make it complicated. So we've taken the complication out because what we've done is we've made these tools work seamlessly. So all the stuff in the background, which is the clever stuff, let's not you know, do any injustice, we take care of that and make it simple. So then to prove this even more, I can do other things. I'm going to do an instant WebEx meeting. Okay? So the first thing it does, it goes away, it finds it in there, it's ready to go. And it says, that's me, I'm the host, I'm already in there. So just to prove this, uh, Jared, can you dial into WebEx meeting 841? He's just fighting with his Samsung phone. Uh, is it Sony? Okay, it's not a Samsung. Um, so 841-031-026. So when Jared comes up, I'm going to share the video. And there I am. Okay, so I can hopefully see Jared. He's going to now fire up his video. And again, there we go. Smile in the second row. You're on candy camera. And there we are. So straight away, we've got this collaboration going on between me and him. But we're not really doing anything. So what I'll do, I'll share my desktop. Okay, so I'm going to share my desktop. And then, uh, let's see. An open PowerPoint and then I can fire on a PowerPoint slide and I can and Jared what have, you, what have you got there there you go just so everyone can see that's my desktop and he's just seeing that I'm videoing everyone as I walk around the room so he's on 3G 3G not even Wi-Fi that's how powerful it should be that's how easy it should be to collaborate and you might say okay you know I make cakes for a living I'm a butcher what does it mean to me it doesn't really, it takes those boundaries down. It means that you can talk to your suppliers, you can share things. I had an architect here this morning. One practice, him, that's it. He said, can't really see it. I said, okay, so tell me about your day. And he said, well, yesterday I left here, went to see a client, drove an hour, showed him some outline plans, come back, three hours. I said, okay. So given that when I've worked with architects, they normally come out and go, here it is, and you go, no, you missed the plot, I didn't want that pointy bit, I wanted a flat bit. He can then immediately say, rather than me coming out, let me share my ideas with you. As long as I've got a computer that I can add a web address into, I can share it. And that's what we're showing here, is this collaborative working that means everything is joined up. So all of a sudden he gets it, he can see it in his business. You get advanced features. Again, coming back to the first slide, it's, a, it's a, a commoditized product. You pick and choose what you want. If you want fully integrated video, if you want to know um, the presence of one of your colleagues or someone in another company in an indicator on your, on your PC, we can do that. If you want to run instant messaging across your colleagues or your, um, you know, your, your, your contact list, we can do that as well. If you want to start instant WebExes, we can do that as well. These are all point and clicks off your desktop, very easily to integrate. Unlike some of the other solutions where all those feature sets are available, but you have to have a server. There's another server on site, it's another bit of connectivity, it's another bit of expertise, it's another bit of chargeable infrastructure costs that you have to bear. So we give you really a fully featured service. Pick and choose what you want to take out of that and ultimately benefit for using the type of tools that most of the corporations use today. I say this to Cisco quite often. When you deal with a, an organisation, and you know, Ryan's here this morning, and I was with him yesterday, you, know, you get blasé to some of this stuff. You know, people say, oh, I'll have a WebEx, and they fire one up and off they go, or we'll do a video call. You know, the real world of real business doesn't necessarily enjoy that luxury and as a result what we're trying to do is simplify the availability of that luxury 
Because when you use it, I travel quite extensively, but I tend now to go and sign contracts when I go on a plane, whereas before I'd have maybe had three or four visits before I got to contract stage. So my personal, um, if you like, efficiency is, is much better purely because I'm using the tools on the desktop, like video, like sharing documentation, etc. So, moving that on, what does that really mean? Scalable virtual telephone numbers. How many people trade in, you know, other continents or other areas? We've got uh, facilities in uh, Asia Pac, in uh, Australia, in Saudi Arabia. We have localised telephone numbers. So anyone calling us in Australia calls an Australian number, a Perth number. What if it goes wrong? It doesn't, and I'm not sitting here blasé enough to think it might not. What I can tell you is we've invested so much that if it does go wrong, uh, the, the reliability and backup is there because it's built in this resilient infrastructure. So, believe me, it's your choice, I guess. It's, I always say, you know, when a salesman stands up in front of you, discount 50% of it. These are people that are actually using it today. And whilst some of those are maybe aren't familiar with you, I can give you, you know, examples of the legal profession, of the finance institution. I can give you uh, the Edge Foundation, who are, you know, a, um, a, a school-based environment. Match.com, this is where I first met Paul online, wasn't it? <laughs> um, so, you know, I can, I can tell you all about this, and, you know, clearly we have case studies in quite a varied sector. So if you don't believe me, maybe to believe them. And these are some of the testimonies that we've had from our clients who say, you know, not that it's the best thing since the pop-up toaster maybe, but the reality is it's there, it's secure, and it delivers. And I'd be delighted to show you a bit more if you want to grab me in the next hour or so. Thank you very much for your time.